YouTube, hi, how you going? It's uh, Iski here, and I've got another TV to fix with you. Um, I'm gonna show you this particular fix. It's an incredible fix. Like, it's, I've just learned how to do this. I've done it once before to a 60-inch TV. I did it probably three weeks ago, um, and it just blows my mind. We're gonna fix a TV with a piece of sticky tape. A TV that is basically a write-off um, if you take your TV with this particular problem, and I'll show you the, the problem very soon, but if you take it normally to a TV repairman, they will just say it's a write-off, you can't fix it. Just about every single repairman. In fact, 99% of the people in the world who fix TVs, I reckon, probably don't even know of this fix, because this really cool fella on YouTube, Reese, just discovered it. And um, I'll put links to his video of him teaching well, where I'd learned how to do it anyway. And it's awesome. It's a great video. So if you've got a TV with these lines, basically the TV has horizontal lines. If you've got a TV with that problem, don't look at what I'm doing. Just come along for the ride right now because you'll find it really interesting and maybe a little inspiring. But if you've got that problem, check his video out because it is awesome. Like seriously, he's got... The, he's got the he's got the equipment. He's got microscopes. He goes in and he shows you what to do. Um, I have to use magnifying glasses to see what I'm doing and all of that kind of stuff. It'll make sense shortly. But yeah, so if you have, I would have been about two weeks ago. I found that TV and I found another TV at the same time and I brought them home. There's a video. I'll put it on the screen or on the description where I find this TV and I turn it on for the first time, actually hoping that it's got this line issue because this particular LG model, it's got a fault and that's the, they're the main ones that I find at the tip. LG's, um, I think it's about 2016, so it's a pretty new model. It's a 4K, it's smart TV, it's got everything that you want. But um, this TV ended up having the same problems, which was awesome. So we're gonna see if we can fix it because I do have another video of me fixing that 60 inch TV which is down there in my home cinema that I'm actually building right now. We'll, I'll take you down there and I'll show you. But um, yeah, I started filming that one, but I pulled the cameras in like too late. I Yeah, it was it was nuts. So I forgot to turn the cameras on, but there's a, there's enough in that video for you to get the idea of what I was doing. And uh, But hopefully we will record the entire thing of me doing this. There won't be too many real full-on close-up shots because I just don't have the patience and the time and all of that kind of stuff to, to do that. But check out Reese's video. It's awesome. Okay, having said all of that, what I might do, and I think we're going to do this fix right here. We'll actually do this fix in my shop up here um, rather than down in my home cinema because it's a bit messy. And my other TV is still being tested. It's been running for three weeks straight after I fixed that initial problem. The same problem that this TV's got that TV had, which I'm about to show you, and it's been going constantly for three weeks, obviously turning it off at night time, blah, blah, blah. But um, that's encouraging, right? So let's um, flip you around. We'll turn this on. We'll go down, we'll have a look at this TV that I fixed um, about three weeks ago, show you what it's, how beautiful it looks. It's a 60 incher, it's worth thousands. And um, we'll come back and we'll try and fix this one, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. So what a backdrop. Cool backdrop for a cool fix. So this is the TV that we're going to be fixing. It is a 55UH770 T model. I think the t TV that I fixed um, before, the 60 inch version, um, it was a 60 inch. Um, it was a UH as well, but I think the, the bottom numbers were 6 three, five or six, three, two or something like that, which d doesn't matter. It's basically the same TV, the lower the numbers, the less features, basically all of that gimmicky crap that they stick in. It's just programming. But the, the basically the physical hardware, the screen, the all of that kind of stuff uh, is basically the same. So let's um, actually just turn this on. So we've got the remote, we'll just power that up. looks great when you first, there you go. When you first turn it on, it looks beautiful, but um, then you're confronted with all of these lines. Have a look. Now those lines that are going upwards, that's just a refresh rate thing with the camera. I'm not seeing them in real life, but um, 
what we don't like are all those horizontal lines and that flickering. Um, see that? It's crazy. And it seems to be all the UH models are doing it in the LG, which are like um, 2016, uh, I think. I think they're 2016 TVs. So we're going to fix that with a piece of sticky tape. But right now, I might actually just take you down to this TV that I fixed a few weeks ago. And I'll put a link in the description with me fixing this one. But um, <laughs> I haven't even put the back of the TV on. I might do that today as well, button this up, because this is working great. But if we come around here, look at that. It's perfect. It's been working great. This TV had the exact same TV as the one we just saw. So... Um, yeah, success story. I can't believe it. Um, I know Reese. The, the his channel is called Frugal Repairs, by the way, and um, yeah, his uh, it, it, when he was doing it to his TVs, he would have like a residual effect, like some kind of after effect. Um, uh, but it was so minor that you couldn't actually see any. You know, yeah, you couldn't actually see it from a distance. But um, I've looked at this TV all over and I'm not having any after issues with mine. Um, so I'm stoked. Hopefully this TV up here, we won't, we will have the same thing. We won't have any residual side effects. That's what I meant to say, like side effects. But um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to set up. I'll bring you back and I'm going to start taking the stand. I'll start by taking the stand and the back off. And, uh, and then we'll get going, okay? Okay. So, let's begin by putting down a couple of cushions. Okay, I need a screwdriver. I'm not even prepared. Um, I am not even prepared. Just jumping down here. Let's take this thing here off first. That allows us access to the, um, the stand. And then this should just lift up. Okay, so we've got the standoff. Um, I'm not sure, this TV here, I have a feeling this TV actually has is being held on, the back of it might be being held on by screws, which would be a really nice change because I don't know if the other one was I can't remember now but I yeah I had to un it was being held on by clips and that sucks seriously that's just the worst thing but um we will undo these screws and see if this back comes off nicely it still might have some clips hopefully it doesn't Okay, we'll put you there. So what do you think? Oh, I remember. Do you think we're going to be able to just lift this off? <laughs> oh, probably not. This is... Oh, this shits me. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a couple of flat blade t screwdrivers. Can you guys see? Yep. All right. Now it's coming back to me, actually. Um, actually, there's a couple of screws underneath here I think have to come out. One, two. 
Oh, there we go. So that's. Don't know. It, yeah. So I don't know what the point is in hold, putting all of these screws on, and then they've still got clips holding the bloody back down. It's just. They just don't want you to fix anything. Now, I know with Samsung, Samsung do the same thing. They don't even give you screws. But um, what I've noticed is there's always a little starting point. There's like a half crescent moon that you can actually put your screwdriver in there and kind of, you know, wedge it up and just get it started. But LG don't seem to be doing that. So you have to kind of lift it up, I think. Um, unless I'm doing this completely wrong. Let's work it out. Oh, come on. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously there's definitely clips in here. I'm just going to put my screwdriver there and just move this one across and see if I can... There we go. So that's got the first one. Move across. I just don't understand why you have to do this. There's so many screws on the back. Okay. Can you guys, am I still in shot? Am I still in shot? Yeah, kind of. Top is really easy. <laughs> Come on, oh, there we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so that's released them all. Now, if I remember correctly, the part that I had the most problem with was the back because, yeah, I'll show you in a second. So let's just um, see if we can lift this up here. Oh, feels like there's something holding it in still. I oh, know, there we go. So there should be down, down here is uh, where the infrared and all your controls are for the TV. So there's going to be, I think, a cable running. We just lift this up. There we go. You can see that cable just there. So what we might do, I think, well, how did I do this? Um, yeah, so this was an interesting, I can't remember. I, with the other TV, I pulled this entire section out. That's right. Rather than disconnecting the control, the, the manual control there. And I think this one was the Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, I, otherwise I, I thought, yeah, you have to pull the, you have to pull the whole unit out I think otherwise you won't be able to turn the TV on <laughs> because I think the infrared remote is on there as well because I can't see it anywhere else um, so yeah so we're gonna have to try and work out how to pull this out I know I had real troubles trying to do this before in fact what I might do is yeah this is what I did last time I actually did disconnect this so there, you can pull that out like that, and this one here would be the same. Push it, push that down, and that should pop out. There, like that. And then what I did was I had to take that unit out of the back and then plug it back in, plug it back into there. So then when I came to turning it on to see if I fixed it and test it and all of that kind of stuff. Um, 
I could actually, <laughs> I could do it because without that attached to the TV, I couldn't do it. So if you come down here and have a look at the back of this TV here, you will actually, as long as there's enough light, you'll actually see, see down there? That's the section, that whole part there has the control, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we need to do with the back of that TV. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother doing it on camera for you guys, because I know that took me ages to do, to work it out last time. I'll actually film a little bit of it, and uh, if I can work it out, we'll keep it in the video, we'll keep it in the shot, otherwise I'll just do it, and you can work it out if you have to do it. Now, how did, <laughs> Are you serious? It just fell out. There you go. Why did I have such a bad memory of doing the last one? There you go. That just fell out. How cool is that? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, so that made life a lot easier. So I'm just going to set you back up here and get you in shot. So this bit here that has the, you know, the controls of the TV, um, I think this here is the... I think this bit here is the, um, that might be the Wi-Fi or the, I'm not sure. I think it's the Wi-Fi module, but um, yeah, that's just your yeah, turn it on, your navigation controls. I don't know where the, um, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know where the, the infrared receiver is. It's got to be here somewhere, but uh, oh well, who cares? It must be part of this. It must be part of this unit. So let's just plug this in because we are going to need that to turn it back on. So we'll first of all plug. Oh, come on. Don't be a jackass. There we go, that's the first one. And the second one is over this side, isn't it? So, okay, so that allows us to turn the TV on and all of that kind of stuff. Now, this is interesting. So this is exactly the same as the 60 inch TV that I fixed. Now it's got a lot of dust and crap everywhere. So let's give that a bit of a of a blow down okay now with Reese what he was saying to do when you got this problem is um, you it's basically got to do with the T-Con board now the T don't go replacing the T-Con board because that's going to do nothing because the problem is actually inside the screen itself. All those m tiny little lines that um, and pixels and so forth. Basically, there's a little fault within the screen. And uh, so what we're going to be doing, and if you have a look at these cables, check this out. If we pull this cable out, and uh, let's actually get it past, let's get this bit off. The other TV, it was just, you slid it underneath. You didn't actually have to take this. It wasn't stuck to the actual cable. So let's just put that up there. But yeah, if we have a look underneath here, can you see there's like a hundred, couple of hundred little connectors like on that ribbon cable? There's all of those contacts. And on the, they make contact with basically the T-Con side of things. So the T-Con board's fine. What we're going to try and do, what's happening is one of the signals that this T-Con board is sending to the screen, it's triggering a fault within the screen, which is, you know, causing that kind of flickering and all those lines. So our job is to work out which particular one of all of those hundreds, and mind you, there's another one over here as well. We want to find out exactly which particular pin it is or which particular contact. And uh, just watch Reese's videos because he explains it really well. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back inside. Is that back in good? Uh, probably no, it's not. I'm just I can't do it with one hand. So I'll just move this around. Okay, so I'm just going to reseat this nicely. That that's perfect. Okay, so when Reese is um, just to determine if this is the same issue and it can be fixed. What Reese does is he does a bit of troubleshooting and he basically goes around and um, pulls out one side. So this T-Con board basically governs the picture. That tells you that what it does, you get the signal coming in from your Blu-ray player through your main board, goes into your T-Con board, and then this T-Con board, you know, turns it into your picture. Basically it's in charge of all the pixels and all of that kind of stuff. And uh, so what we're gonna try and do is find out what basically what little contact is got that fault and I did <laughs> explain that before so what we want to do now is do a bit of troubleshooting um, what I might do is actually pull this basically this ribbon cable here looks after that side of the screen this ribbon cable here looks after that side of the screen so we're going to do some troubleshooting we're going to pull this one out and see if we've still got a fault see if we've still got a flicker problem and um, if we do have the thick flicker problem still, then we know that this particular ribbon probably has the problem, has the, the issue, which to be honest, um, on that TV down there that I fixed, the 60 inch, it was this cable. I'm actually hoping that it is. So I'm gonna actually unplug this one first, or at least disconnect this ribbon from here. And uh, we're going to turn it on and flip this up and, and have a bit of a look. See what's happening. All right. So I might even just set you down on the ground here. We will plug you in there, give you some power. Pretty sure I turned this off by on the remote control before. Yeah, standby light still red. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got the the remote control now. But the thing is, I have to actually turn it on while it's face down because otherwise I can't turn it on because of that's disconnected and the the infrared thing is and the controls are at the back. So I might just quickly give it some power. Now what I'll do is just bring this up and see what's going on. Ah, oh, look at that. Actually, I have a feeling that's a good... S oh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> so, what's that telling me? That is telling me that the cable that's actually the, um, the ribbon cable that's in there already still is probably good. So it might be that this actual ribbon cable is the other one, um, if that makes sense. Um, the one that's actually in there now, that's still plugged in, is the one that I was working on with that 60 inch TV. So it looks like that it's still good because I'm not getting any flickers, which is telling me that that cable that we disconnected is the bad one, the culprit. So let's just, just for argument's sake, turn it around and uh, we will put the other ribbon cable back in. And, uh, and pull the other one back out and let's just have a look, see what happens. Um, okay, so let's just turn that off. That's off. Standby light's on. Remember, always pull the power out before you go messing around with these things. So let's see if we can put this one back in. That's really interesting. You know, what I was hoping was that it was the same side as the other one because I actually wanted to go down and grab the ribbon cable out of that 60 and stick it in here and see if it was the same pin. All right, we won't be able to do that, I don't think. So let's pull this one out and uh, see if we're going to see what happens. So we'll put the power back in. Standby light is on. It's just... Okay, so it's turning on. 
let's set you back here and let's lift this up and see what we got ah there we go look There you go. See, so we've got the um, the lines have come back, even on this side. Ah, so very interesting. Uh, sorry, I, um, I've got you a bit close, but you can see what's going on, can't you? So that is telling me that the ribbon cable that is plugged into this Tcon board right now is delivering a signal to a part of the screen that has a fault. So basically what we want to do is mask that little pathway to that part of the screen with the fault. Basically we're going to put a bit of sticky tape over it and uh, see if we can stop that from happening. So let's do that. So I am going to get my remote control. I'm just going to turn that off. Let's pull the power. So that's really interesting. So let's so basically this cable, this ribbon cable that is plugged into the TCON board now is is basically that's where the fault lies. You know, interesting. Let's just pull that out. Because on the other TV it was this one. So I'm just gonna set you up here and use two hands, okay? So let's put this one back. Now, if you want to work out exactly what to do, check out Reese's video. It's pretty interesting. I've actually gone to the trouble of understanding what he's saying, and I, to be honest, I should have re-watched the video because I can't even remember now. But um, yeah, so there are basically a bunch of these, oh, what were they called? Little, I think it's these ones there, they were called time something. You can see there's those numbers there. Oh, listen, I'm not, oh, were they these ones? <laughs> I can't remember. But normally it's within the first um, six to ten, uh, it's basically within the first six to ten uh, contacts here on this ribbon cable. That's where the fault is. So you can actually see how there's probably about, oh, there's a bunch of these small little gold contacts. One of those is delivering a signal to the screen um, and the screen has the fault and it's basically, yeah, uh, causing that flickering effect. So let's get a piece of sticky tape. And what I did with the other TV, I actually just put a piece of sticky tape probably over the first half a centimetre, which is probably the first six, five or six. So let's do that, eh? Um, let's actually disconnect this from this side as well. We'll pull this one out. Okay. All right, so let's take this down. <clears throat> okay. Now it was on this side. I'm actually just going to put a just a bit of just a spot here so I can not get confused. So we're going to put a little bit of sticky tape over here, probably this portion of the um, of the ribbon cable, and we're going to plug that back in. We are going to plug that back in and see what happens. So basically what I'm going to use, I'm just, I just use some of this packaging tape. So I'm just going to cut that there. Just that side, so it's over here. Yep. So I am just going to maybe block off that much. Let's do that. Um, I need some scissors. Hold on guys, I'm going to come back. Okay, so we've got some scissors. I'm just going to cut that flush with the edge there and going down the side. 
Now the interesting part was when Reese was doing this, he was doing it trial by uh, trial and error basically. I should I should have probably put more tape on there. Basically what he would do is he would put this in and go, oh yeah, it's it's fixed up a little bit, and then he would actually cut a bit more off and expose a few more pins and then a few more other pins and and um until he got it right. And that's exactly what I did with the 60 inch, and all of a sudden it just boomed back to life. Um my confidence has just gone down a little bit because this actually has the other side with the error to what the um the 60 inch did. But uh let's take this up and um plug this in. Right now. So I'll just put you there. I am just going to pop that there. Uh it's, it's upside down. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So what do you think? Should we try this again? What do you think? Do you think anything's going to happen? I, I don't. First attempt, probably not. So, let's give you some power. Okay. Let's set you guys up here again. Oops. And see what we got. See if we did anything at all. Holy, whoa. Oh my God. It's, did we just fix it in the first attempt? Are you serious? Can you see that? Don't worry about those bands that are going up and up. I think we just fixed this. That little piece of stick, what? I've got no problem at all. There's no lines. Oh man, hang on a second. I can't get it. <laughs> hang on, that's nuts. Guys, we just fixed that in the first attempt. There is no flickering, there are no lines. Um, when I'm looking at it, there's no dark bands that are going up. That's what you're seeing there. Um, that issue, well, it's not really happening anymore. That's just a refresh rate, but I'm not getting any TV fault. I, what? <laughs> That's nuts. Are you serious? Did we just fix it? I mean, we've got like four or five of the first things, uh, four or five of the first, um, First of those contacts are still covered up. Should we go through and cut them off? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna leave it because that looking pretty decent. I'm just gonna set you here. Um, can I just move this TV back so I can set it up somewhere? Hang on. Um, hmm, what should I do? That is crazy. Come on, you stand back there. What? We fixed it. We fixed it. How did we fix it? I mean, I know how we fixed it, but the last TV that I did, it took like six or seven attempts. But that one, I just put a tiny little piece of, you saw me do it. We just put a tiny, tiny little piece of sticky tape on the side and look at that. Oh, what? Oh, that's crazy. Um, I need to get a source. We want to plug something in and actually play something, don't we? Um, wow. I mean, and when Reese does it, he always says there's always some kind of residual side effect that happens, but if you sit back, you never see it. And um, 
he shows his, and you can see it on his videos with the TV that he fixes, that he fixed. But this ex this is exactly like the um, the 60 inch version that I fixed, and I st I can't see any residual effects. There are no side effects or anything. It looks like a brand new bought TV. <laughs> we fixed it. No way. That's awesome. That is crazy. So there you go. That's going to be a shorter video than I thought it was going to be. Um, that's awesome. So I have to find myself some bunny ears. Let's go and um, hang on. I will just set. Oh no. Should I just stop you? Yep, I'll stop you. I'm going to go and find some, you know, uh, uh, signal so I can get a signal to this TV and just put some TV on. But um, that's nuts. That is crazy. Man, I'm getting a lot better at doing this fix. <laughs> oh, wow. That is awesome. Someone threw this out. Well, you can understand why they threw it out because it was a write-off. But um, yeah, like I said, not even the TV repairmen know this fix. So thanks, Reese from Frugal Repairs. You are a legend, mate. You are a bloody legend. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's find some bunny ears. Have I got any bunny ears down here? Um, maybe in here? Have I got any bunny ears over here? Nope. Oh, what's that? Nope. Listen, I'm just going to put you down and go and grab some, um, some aerials. And I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, so... <laughs> In the end, I end up just going grabbing the uh, bunny ears that were on that 60 inch TV I showed you just earlier. Um, so let's just plug that in the back. I wonder if we get a picture straight away. Probably not. So it's got not programmed, so let's program this to get some TV. Oh, that's nuts. I'm still flipping out about that. Okay, so let's um, bring up the menu. Oh. Because the thing's on the back now, I have to do it like this. Menu. Okay. Um, go down to what's that? Picture mode. Aspect ratio. Sound. Sleeper. Safety. Whatever that is. All settings. Okay. So we want. We want that one, don't we? Okay. Oh, went too far. Programs. Program tuning. Auto tuning, sounds good. Uh, should we go digital only? Yeah, digital only. Next. So we should be getting some programs coming down. And so far, oh, it hasn't even started yet. Okay, yep, so we've got 9, 15, 11. Okay, so that's working. But um, look at that. I mean, that's perfect. 4K. There's no problem at all. It's working great. <laughs> and how big was that bit of sticky tape? See, it's normally just one of those little things, one of those little pads that you want to gold contacts that you want to cover up but I mean I know I've got probably five or six covered up but hey it's working it's working great okay that's 100 percent that's um I have to because I've got the um the receivers down there let's just go I'll set you back here all right Let's mute that. Um, mute, mute. Where are you? All right. So all of that flickering there, that's just bad aerial reception because we're using these stupid rabbit ears. But um, maybe if I hold the rabbit ears with my hand. That's crazy. We fixed it. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get a better picture for a start. And what does everyone do for that? They normally go to picture mode and set it to 
Uh, what's cricket? Didn't know there was a cricket mode, photo mode, HDR. So this has got HDR. Expert. Uh, David, that's what we want. Okay, well, there we go. Um, blown away. That was a hell of a lot easier and quicker to do than my other one. Let's see if we can, if we get, put this up high, maybe. Stick it on here. Is that going to help things? Or is it going to make things worse? Wow. That's awesome. We fixed it. <laughs> I keep saying that. Okay, well, I guess there's not much more to say. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was, um, that blew me away as much as I'm expecting that it would blow a lot of other people away. Uh, so once again, thank you, Reese. You are a legend, mate. And uh, guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Wow, that's amazing.